Welcome back to the channel. So in this one I'm going to show you how to assemble my 3D printed scale jack. So you lift the handle up, you then got a locking bar. And you can then sit your car on it. Just like that. So here are all the pieces. You've got the actual jacking plate, you've got the four wheels, two pins that secure the locking mechanism and the jacking plate into the arm, main housing, the handle, the locking pin and the two end, end caps. Now this has been printed on a bamboo P1S, so some of the tolerances depending on your printer might be tighter, might be looser. It is designed to fit together without hardware, so the pins just push in. But depending on, as I say, your tolerances on your printer, you may actually need to either glue the pins in place if they're too loose, or take some material off to get them to fit in. So the first step, we're going to take the jacking plate, the main arm, one of the pins. Line it up with a hole. You'll see there's a bigger hole on one side and a chamfer on the inside of the arm, just there. Put the jacking plate in, slide the pin in, push it into place. If you're having trouble pushing that in, just get something flat or use this pry tool. If they are a little stiff to get in, so just push it on the end until it's set flush. That's the jack and plate in. As again with the tolerances, some of these may be looser than others. This one's not too bad, it actually doesn't start falling over on its own. Next step, we're going to put the locking mechanism in. Same again, it sits in that way. I'm going to take the locking pin, slide it through the hole that's the biggest. Make sure it's lined up on the end there. And just push it into place. Once that's that flush, that's all locked in. We're now going to take the handle, slide the handle in. You'll see the little notch on there. That sits in that way because that allows it to move on its own. And then the little lip on there actually pushes on the back of the arm to lift it up. Take the main housing. Take the pin for the handle and the arm. Line everything up. And then slide it in place. And again, just make sure it's all set flush. And that's all in. Then I'm going to set the end caps. And push them over the end. Should clip in place. And there you go, that's the handle all secure. As I say, you can see you can move the handle on its own, and then that little ledge on the end actually then lifts the arm up. So that's that set done. Now, for the final step, just going to put the wheels on. So these are designed to just be pressed on. Once again, depending on your tolerances. Some may be tighter than others. And 
There you go. You've got a functional scale jack. There's a few positions you can put the locking bar in to get different heights. And on how high you want it to sit. Or you can just have it sat down. Just have it like that. So this is a full car, there's a battery, speed controller, motor, everything in it. And it supports the weight perfectly fine. The print is in a single colour, but you can change the colour of some of the parts if you want. Right, we've got one there in black. And all I've done is use parts from a black one and a blue one, mixed and matched them. To get these two here. So I'll put a link to these in the description. They're on the Bamboo Maker World. One with the print profile on there. There is a brim on it. Just to help any adhesion for some of the pins that may come loose. Which I have had when test printing. But hopefully they come out okay for you. I've also got a few other things up on the make a lab so I've also got a scale tire rack which you can see just here or a drum container which you can see over in the back next to the Christmas tree and some of the cones as well which just there so if you want to print any of them search for scale underscore BMB on the maker app and get printing and on that note I'm going to leave it there so the usual like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one